So on the one hand, we have all of these fossils that at first glance appear to be showing a gradual humanness appearing, maybe, sort of. If you put them in order of their radiometric dating, you get what appears to be a transition. And the important part here is that the, the fossils form what we call a phylogeny in the evolutionary business. Um, a, a branching family tree that shows the gradual evolution of modern Homo sapiens. So, as I look at this array of fossils, I want to know something really important. I went into this assuming that, all right, creationists have said for years that there is a difference between humans and animals. Uh, and there is what I would call a discontinuity. And so I went into this thinking, all right, well, let's find out. Is there a discontinuity or is there not? Can I detect it or can I not? By using clustering methods on the same information used to make the phylogenies, I found what I would interpret as a discontinuity. So there's a cluster of things that are human, and then there's a cluster of things that are not human, and there's a difference between them, and it's detectable. So just like creationists have always said, there's a difference. You can tell the difference between human and animal. Even with all of these fossils, you can tell the difference. Now the key point about this research is not that I've proven Adam and Eve. Put that out of your mind. What I've shown here is simply that the creationist claim that there's a difference between human and ape is detectable. I can see it. You can add more fossils to the mix, and guess what? I will continue to see it. I'm pretty confident that I will continue to see it. Um, that speaks volumes to me, uh, because that's what creationists have been saying, right? The thing that excites me is, yes, there is a group here that contains humans and is different from these animals over here. And I would then interpret this group that contains humans as the descendants of Adam and Eve. These are the children of Adam and Eve. All of them, every last one of them. And these over here are not. They're animals that were created on day six separately from human beings. That raises a lot of questions, of course. What do you do with the genome? What do you do with population genetics? What do you do with um, the radiometric dating and the geologic context of the fossils and everything else? You just sort of start unpacking this and it gets really complicated really fast. But I'm pretty excited about the results that I've gotten so far, and I'm really confident that it's going to continue in the future. No matter what paleoanthropologists and paleontologists find, they're going to fit into one of these categories. It's going to be either human or it's not. We're not going to see a blending. And I can say that now in, with great confidence because I've tested it, and so far it's turned out to be correct. It's exciting.